Alright folks, welcome to I, what we should call a let's play or mini review of uh, Warhammer and Times Vermintide. Now, I know what you're thinking, this game came out on PC a couple of months ago, it doesn't mean it shouldn't be reviewed because our console brethren, and they are brethren, uh, they are not plebs or um, poor people or anything like that, consoles are consoles and they should be respected, they are going to receive this game early this year 2016 so what is Vermintide first of all it's a Warhammer game a Games Workshop Warhammer game official uh, product of Warhammer the fantasy even though Warhammer 40k is also fantasy this is the more fantasy of the two this is a proper Warhammer game and in this game you are in Oserik a big city in the world of Warhammer I'm not really uh, well versed in the actual map of the world, but this is a big city that was swarmed by Skaven, a uh, well, a an army of ratmen, lots and lots and lots of ratmen. This is the city, and these are different missions. Why missions? Well, because this game, for all intents and purposes, is practically left for dead Warhammer, and unabashedly so. The uh, the company that created this game, Fat Shark. Uh, which is the first game that the entire team got together to build and they had a blast doing so and it shows is a Left for Dead clone even though some people consider that to be a bad thing I think this is a wonderful thing because I loved Left for Dead I love zombies therefore this is just well that on steroids because you have magic uh, fantasy elements elves bows uh, guns and what have you well what you're seeing now is the menu. This is the main menu. This is an, the inn that the main characters are in. They are stranded in this inn. Lots of inns in the last two sentences. And on this map, they plan out exactly what to do in order to help the city with the um, Skaven invasion. To do so, uh, we have at our disposal these five heroes. Victor Saltspire, a witch hunter, Kerillion, a way watcher, an elf. Bardin Gorexon, a dwarven ranger, Siena Fugonassus, a bright wizard, and Marcus Kruber, a soldier of the Empire of Man. For the Emperor and all that. Personally, I love this setup right here. She plays really well. I'll try and go through all of them in this small playthrough. So you can all get an idea of what we're talking about. Alright, so here we are at the Red Flag Inn and they have to plan their next move. Now, their next move. Um, before you do that, you can check your inventory because this is what the game is based on. Characters and inventory. Each weapon, and they have two weapons each, a melee weapon and a ranged weapon has its own stats, as you can see, power, speed, targets, as in how many people, how many Skaven it hits with one strike, and knockback. Uh, and there's two types of attack with each weapon, a charged attack and a normal attack. Um, Kirillian can have a setup of a single blade or two swords, as you can see. I prefer this single sword here for the extra power with her power attack, or charged attack as I call it. And of course her long range weapon is a longbow, which is majestic either way. She's, well for me she's the best ranged uh, character. So, without further ado, uh, actually, yeah, let's have a look around here at the end. You'll see that the forge is here, this is where you can um, salvage uh, items you don't want to use anymore to get material or you uh, fuse five weapons of a type to create one of the same type to forge a new one this is all about items all the time for all five characters and of course this has been added a little bit later after release there's these f uh, four different types of materials plentiful common rare and exotic and you use these to create uh, different weapons like uh, in this instance here I would need um, 30 of this material which is common to create either a ranged or a melee weapon for one of these characters and so on and so forth depending on what, the st what stone you use that's the rarity of the item you get apparently I also have a trinket uh, which I'm not exactly sure what it does 
I see, I see. It increases my chances of getting items for uh, Kirillian, for the Way Watcher. Now, getting items. Now, this, this comes at the end of every mission where you roll dice, uh, which harkens back to the actual tabletop game itself, which is a nice little touch, even though sometimes it really just buggers you. You get nothing. Uh, but that's just part of the game. So, uh, let's just start with the Horn of Magnus, which is actually the first mission of the game, the prologue, as it is. So, I'll press play, but I will play with bots, just so I can control the flow of the game. And then we'll go through the, um, the other characters. As always, being a Warhammer game, the presentation is 11 out of 10. The voice acting is stupendously brilliant. That racket will be heard clear to the mountains, and that's exactly what we want. That's the innkeeper talking to the heroes who are preparing to head out in order to blow the horn of Magnus. The voice acting is amazing. And the graphics, well, uh, let's stand on this a little bit. Apparently this is a new engine by Autodesk. By when I say new, I mean October 2015. It's, um, it's very good looking. I did not expect it to be this good looking. It, ran, it runs pretty well. Of course, uh, the Red Moon Inn, by the way, not the Red Flag Inn. Because mistakes are awesome when you're doing something live. So this, this, this game looks good on the Stingray engine. The lighting, especially, is the, uh, one of the best aspects. Listen to that. It's, it, it just puts you in the mood for what's, what's to come. And what's to come is mayhem. Because, I repeat, this is Left for Dead Warhammer. Just swarms upon swarms of Skaven that you need to deal with. These are storm vermin. They are well armored. This is just a normal vermin right here. The beauty of Kirillian is that she has this bow that she can wreak havoc with from a hilarious distance. And no, there is no friendly fire for good reason. All the weapons flailing would have everyone in pieces in no time. The violence is well represented. That's a sentence I never expected to say out loud. Here we go. Someone wants to die. There we go. Chest. Oh, of course. My luck. Nothing. Now, there's no real indication as to where you should go in any of the levels. You have to listen for cues by the, by the actual characters and look around. But uh, exploring might yield some good loot in terms of tomes that unlock other things later on, like a special level that I haven't played yet, and uh, extra dice that you get to roll at the end. You'll see what happens when I finish this mission. You see these are just disposable soldiers that you can have fun with. I missed. I, I never miss. Of course, when don't want to use any more arrows because they do run out. I have 29 as things stand. Okay, the swarm horn has sounded, and now we're going to get a swarm of these little naked Skaven. They're not well armored, they're not well armed, but you still have to go through them. So we've seen one different type of Skaven so far. The storm vermin, you'll eventually see the rest, which are very similar to the types of zombies that we had in Left for Dead. The one that pins you down and strikes you, the other one that pulls you away from the party, the big one, uh, and the one with the gas. Although here we also have uh, a ranged sort of uh, Skaven with a big minigun, the gunner. Ammunition. You can dismember the Skaven, you can enjoy doing so because they're Skaven. You can inspect the weapons for some reason. Look at the lighting. Just, it's, yes. This is yes. Lots of yes, right here. They really nailed the feel of steel. That rhymes and I love it. And the blood on the blade. 
beautiful presentation is very good the sound especially so the skaven just skittering around sometimes they'll gnarl things at you or cough the oh here we go that that's the one that pins you down the gutter runner as they call it on we go And although this looks like a bit of a breeze, it's not. The game gets really hard, really fast in some levels. Supply and demand was easily the hardest mission I had to do. That's right, that's how you die. Oh. Whoop. There we go, the pack master, the one with the pike is the one that ties you down and pulls you away from the party and that's a bad thing for obvious reasons on we go now if there's one criticism I can point out at this point of the uh, let's play section is the bots aren't the brightest of the bunch but at least uh, I've noticed that if you carry on going forward with the mission is that an ogre? is that an ogre? I don't want to fight... oh crap yep that's the ogre that's uh... well it's it's an it's an ogre rat that's terrible and takes a walloping to bring down I backward it, I'm gonna get struck. Oh shit. Oh poo. Oh. oh okay. Actually I shouldn't be wasting arrows on this guy. Oh wow, my health. So you understand, although he doesn't throw chunks of rock at you, it's purely melee. He really packs a punch. And it takes a coordinated effort to take down. Let's hope it doesn't turn on me. That's how you revive an ally. And down he goes. Siena Fuegonasus. Our bright mage brought him down. So now we can carry on with the mission. You see how scared they are? Because they're alone. And now they're nailed to the wall. That's brilliant. And you can never feel bad about this. Never. 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 You consider this an improvement? That's great. Kerrigan. That's great. Kerillion is her name, not Kerrigan. Kerrigan is a whole different person. I say person... More like a Zerg. You can break doors, by the way. This is purely an exploration part of the level. Because oh, there's a tome right there. I picked up a tome. Nothing. Oh, crap. That's me caught by a Packmaster. I have to be rescued. Otherwise, he will literally impale me and leave me there to bleed out. Thankfully, I have teammates to avoid that unfortunate incident. All right. Apparently, I had to allow someone to watch this broadcast. I changed PC recently, so now I have to give this right to people. I have to change the settings which I did my low my, my health is very low and this is going to be quite difficult because I have to transfer explosive barrels all the way down to the gates and needless to say I don't expect the bots to take the initiative to do this here so this will pretty much be it for us for this run I'm not disappointed much, 
but I do have a tome on me that I would like to carry all the way to the end of the level. This is what I mean. I have to be the one carrying the explosive barrel because none of the bots will do so. And our healths are so good. Wow. That's one of three. Oh, wow. Wow. Ow. Hopefully they'll keep these occupied till I go get another barrel. Off you go. That's right. Stay right there. The lighting. Look at the... Even though this is the, um, the worst situation to check the lighting, but look at this. It, it's, it's, it has to be said. They did an amazing job. The game looks amazing, and I repeat, this is the Autodesk's Stingray engine. By the way, if I'm hit too many times, the barrel actually explodes while I'm holding it. Oh, wow, I didn't even finish my sentence. Yay! Kirillian, the great way watcher, died carrying an explosive barrel. Of course, he's trying to pick me up. Oh, the bright mage went down. Well, this, this might give us an opportunity to actually look at the other characters, even though you get the general gist of things. Off I go, with less health overall, to pick up another barrel, while the rats, the Skaven to be precise, never stop coming. That's fantastic. So I repeat, this game is not easy. Not at all. Of course, with three other human players, it gets a lot easier. Well, depending on who you're playing with, I mean, you never know who's on the other end. That's right, alright, they've quietened down, so we'll probably be able to finish the sequence without further incident. Oh, of course! No, 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 stop it! Oh, it's lit. Boom. Not falling for that one again. Protect me, douchebags. Let's see if I tag it. With T, you get to tag items in the uh, in the, the level, so people can know it's there. But no, they don't want to pick it up. Sure, fine. Be that way. Assholes. Oh, Marcus's the Empire soldier's health is amazing. Oh, great. Oh, whoa, 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 there's a gutter runner. No, he must not get away with this. Oh, crap, he needs to die. Or we will. Of course he came back for me, because he, he, just, he just wanted me. And I get to watch a Skaven, well, slowly beat me to death. This game does not lack violence or gore, which I love. In games, of course, don't get me wrong. So yeah, this is this is the incredible experience of watching two Skaven flail you and slash you to death. Oh, there's a gunner across. There he is. Uh, no pressure, people. If you just could come back and save me, that'll be swell. Thank you. Oh. For all the bad things they do, they've they've saved me twice so far. So I guess it's a, it's a good relationship. The beauty of playing an elf first person and using a longbow, it's it's a wonderful experience, even though some people hate elves for some reason. So sorry, despise elves for some reason. I've lost the tome. Oh great. Did I drop it when I died? Never mind. The tower, yeah, the, that's the horn. You can guess as much. I mean, look at it. You can't miss it. Ah, that is a storm vermin patrol that we can avoid. Nay, we should avoid. Let's just make quick work of these little rats here. Stay away from the storm vermin. None of you bother the storm vermin. Good. And on we go to von Jungfreudplatz. I don't quite get why everything is very German. 
uh, here. I guess that's a question for Games Workshop. Mind you, it German sounds awesome, especially in this scenario, and this setup anyway, this theme. <laughs> so I'm quite okay with that. Die rat. And I repeat, you should. Oh, 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 got a runner. Did you see him? I saw him. Alright, up we go. To blow the horn of Magnus. Bye, rat. You too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, someone is joining the game. That that can happen. I did not click private, nor, nor do I mind. Mind you, it's an online experience, and I like sharing, so that's more than fine. Oh, a gas rat! Wow, you didn't you didn't last long, did you? That's terrible. It's horrendous for you. I hope you have insurance. All right. The uh, the Empire soldier will become a human player from what I'm seeing. So that's more of a chance to actually finish the level. And he joins without any health. Oh, a 20th level uh, profile. Hmm, I'm honored. I'm only level 9. <laughs> this is the part where I sort of step on the gas and cover distance. Just a little bit more. And nope, he died and he left the game. I don't blame him. Oh. What? That is... Oh my days. Alright, alright, get on top of that. that. There was a hole in the door right there. Beauty of live streaming. Or whatever you want to call this. It's, the hole clearly wasn't there. It was an illusion. There was no hole. How many empty chests am I going to find? How many? Anyway, on we go. Yeah, you're gonna die as well. Look at this. This this is this is beautiful. I feel like I am there. The voices, the sounds, the bell tolling, the sound of the skaven, the blood on the camera. That's this is what you sign up for when you buy Warhammer and Times Vermintide. On we go. Blue Herveg. Someone is caught. I don't care. Because I am a way watcher, I am used to going out in nature alone and dealing with situations. Alright, I missed so many times, that's despicable. Die. Of course you can push while you block. But stamina runs out, so you can't do that indefinitely. That's right. What? Who? Oh, that's fantastic. Help me, dwarf. Please, dwarf. Don't make me say bad things about dwarves. Help me, dwarf. Uh well, this is this is going f brilliantly, as as you can see. I am really giving them hell. My throat is really teaching them a lesson. And here she goes, the most graceful war banner ever. Come on, dwarf. You can do this. Come on, dwarf. Help me. Please, please help me. I'm dying. Like, can you see? Like, look. Oh, come on. Are you enjoying this? What is this? All right, people, it's official. Dwarves hate elves. I mean, come on. What? Really? Is this a thing? Oh, wow. I, I, got, I got to watch this live. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yay, victorious. And this is the part where you get to roll dice in order to see what you unlock. First the XP, of course. There is a leveling system at the end of each level. Uh, when you level up, basically, you get to 
get one random item and here it is Reynolds bones you see here the success ratio the normal dice have two sides with the Sun symbol which is a success the gray ones have three the golden ones have four and the green ones are a well there is a success full stop well we have good chances and right here are the items you get it rolled for me and I got one a crossbow that's great I didn't want a crossbow, I wanted a normal bow, if you ask me. Yay! A recurve crossbow, everyone, for the witch hunter. Okay, well, that concludes it, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll do this again at some point in the future. Until then, you'll have a good time.